This video by Swede Tech is on the Delardo VHSH 30mm carburetor. So this carburetor is commonly found on the ICC and KZ engines. This is the spec mandated carb. Also the mandatory carb for the Vortex Rock Shifter and the Rock GP classes. So always consult your rule books for proper uh, carburetors uh, if it's not an open type class. So this is your carb top. Always run a carburetor with a boot on the top. If this boot is missing, it can affect the jetting. The screw top comes off. Standard thread, so it just unscrews. And then, let's grab that. In here, you have an O-ring that's seated in a groove. You want to make sure that O-ring is always in place and always in good condition. If that O-ring is missing, it will affect the carburation. Inside the Delardo VHSH, you have your slide valve, and it's marked on the top with the size of the cutout. Slide spring and a collar. The collar goes inside on top of the throttle cable holder. So there is no need to remove the throttle cable holder to take the throttle cable out. So again, brass collar goes over brass cable holder. And the cable holder just screws into the slide. And then you have your needle. Always check your rules. If you run ICC or KZ, needles are open. If you're running rock, the needle is specified. It has a washer. The washer can go below the clip or on top of the clip. If it goes under the clip, Swede Tech refers to that as a half step because it's a half a step difference. If it's on top of the clip, there is no difference. It's just that that's wherever the clip is, that's the position of the needle. Swede Tech always refers on a needle setting from the top going down. So there's five slots in this particular needle. So this one is at two because it's the second groove from the top. So we call it P2. The washer is on the bottom, so that's going to be a half step. So it's at two and a half. And again, always consult your rule books for jetting, carburetor specs, etc. Because, uh, again, like the rock package, they specify what needle you can run. The outside of the carburetor, you have your choke. Choke pulled up is the open choke circuit. You're not going to be able to see it with my cameras, but. Uh, the open choke circuit is with this lever up and then to close it push it down and your operating position you want this down this is your idle adjust so the screw goes through the bore well not the bore but the body of the carburetor and it touches the slide so as you turn this screw in it raises the slide increasing your idle as you unscrew it's going to lower the slide decreasing your idle and then you have your vents and your nipples. So these can be rotated with a pair of flat pliers if they're pointed down. You just lightly press in and rotate to the desired position. We prefer to run them up. Fuel inlet nipple. This is where you fuel line from your fuel pump. Air screw. To check your air screw, you lightly seat the screw by turning it clockwise. Once it lightly seats, then you can unscrew it. So as you're screwing it in, you'll want to count, you know, in half step turns to see where your air screw is. Now on this carburetor, there's a built-in fill filter. However, this carb came off of a rock engine. So the rock rules do not allow a fill filter. But if you're running ICC or KZ, we do recommend a fuel filter. And it basically just snaps over that little nipple. It's about a one inch long filter that snaps over that nipple. So you want to check that on a regular basis if you're running ICCs or KZs. And you have your float bowl. And to access the main jet and your pilot jets, you can remove the brass plug. So this particular carburetor is set up with two individual plastic floats. Again, check your rules. Some rules, the floats are open. Some, 
they mandate what floats you can use. The other option available for the Delardo VHSH 30 mil carb is a one piece float. So it requires a different float bowl. but it's a one piece and if you use the one piece float then you get rid of this float arm because this float arm is for the plastic floats and this carburetor has adjustable needle valves which is a nice feature of this carburetor so you can adjust the flow rate of fuel into the float bowl by changing this needle valve they unscrew also check your rules some rules do not allow you to use different seats. So what I'm unscrewing here with my hands, that's your main jet. I already took everything a little bit loose so you're not watching me fumble bumble. But that is your main jet with a splash guide. This is your nozzle. Okay, so main jet screws into the nozzle. Make sure the splash guide is in place. Now the nozzle can be removed as well check your rules on some series this is a spec item we sell these items on shopsweettech.com or you can drop us a quick email this is a removable piece with a deep socket 9 mil but you need a special one with a deep shoulder and the fun part so what we have here this is your outer pilot jet again outer pilot jet and in the manual, I think they call it the idle jet. But most people refer to this as your outer pilot jet. Okay. Now the inner pilot jet is under the outer pilot jet. And the manual refers to this jet as an idle diffuser. But we call this the inner pilot because it's inside and under the outer. I'm rushing through this video because this is my fifth take and the camera keeps shutting off so I'm hoping to make it all the way through. So the inner pilot is under the outer pilot. So outer pilot inner pilot goes inside there. Nozzle or emulsion tube is here. Main jet with a splash plate screws into the nozzle. Now the nozzle that's the piece that the um, needle actually goes up and down inside on that end. So the needle is engaging with the nozzle. And the very last jet is on the outside. Some call it the choke circuit, some call it the starter circuit. So there you have it. There is a quick rundown of the Delardo VHSH carburetor. I hope this video helps. Let us know in the comment section if you'd like to see other videos or some expansions on videos we've already done. Thank you.